All right, Pisces, this is going to be a reading for you and your love interest, the person on your mind when you click on this video. Let's see what messages we have for you today. Today is October 16th, 2023. So let's see, what is the energy surrounding Pisces and the person on their mind when they click on this video? Keep in mind that these messages can be reversed. So flip it, switch it according to your situation. If it doesn't resonate at all, it's just not your story. All right, so we've got time to let go. Move the F on. Keep in mind, some of these messages may resonate with you. Some of them may not. This is a general reading. This is for the collective. If you guys want a personal information, will be in the description box below. Um, it is dark and you can't see an effing thing. Get your head out of your A pronto. <clears throat> okay. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us all negativity that surrounds us and all fears that limit us so it is take a shot don't take 12 take one okay maybe two and then move on <laughs> that's funny because the other day i did a reading um and i know one of you guys commented on it uh but <laughs> she was like i was like well if you don't drink don't take a shot but you know um have a glass of wine or something or whatever you do um, and she was like, oh, she commented something about Jim Beam and ginger ale, I think. Um, she's like, a shot sounds better. So here you go. There's your card. Okay, there's your confirmation. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, girl. And if you guys don't drink, don't do that. Or if you're going through something emotionally, alcohol is not going to help, okay? But this is literally saying... If you guys are somebody who, you know, doesn't mind having a drink or it's not a trigger or a vice or something for you, it's okay. Take one shot, maybe two, but then it's time to move the hell on, okay? Or this could be for this person that you're dealing with. You come up out of this dark place. If you feel like you're in a dark place, you can't see an effing thing, maybe you need to go out, relax, go, go out for a walk, go out in nature, um, go do something different. I heard bowling. So I don't know if someone here is a bowler or someone needs to go bowling or that may be an idea, a suggestion. Okay, you are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. So someone in this situation, whether it's you or the other person, may be giving away their power. And that is just by letting someone consume uh, space in your mind. Rent free. Better start charging for that. <laughs> Okay, so let's get some more information for Pisces and the person on your mind. Take the power back. All right, the person most on Pisces' mind when they click on this video. Let's get four cards, single cards only. We got our story isn't over yet. I want to work things out and you are the person of my dreams. Oh, my. I love you. I Love is in the air. <laughs> All right, there was someone, there was someone interfering in our relationship. So I don't know if you're dealing with someone here. I do see I love you. So either you love this person, this person still loves you, or story isn't over yet. But there could have been someone that came up in this joint, came up in between y'all. Could have been family, could have been friends, could have been another lover, could have been someone's work. Okay, I need time. So someone's here is still saying is saying that they still need some time um, to work things out, possibly with themselves. Where is okay? Yeah, some of them may still be needing some time to work things out or to get their life straightened out or whatever they're doing. You know, with this time to let go, it is dark and you can't see an effing thing. Take a shot. You're giving away your power. This could be Pisces. And again, flip the roles according to your situation. But I'm going to say it in one way. You guys can flip it. Okay. Uh, just for the sake of me reading this. If there was someone interfering with the situation that you had with someone, like some type of a connection you had with someone, whether it was a friend, a lover, all those things I said earlier, um, Someone may be in the process of going through an ending, 
with this time to let go and it's dark and you can't see it, thing, take a shot, you know, and then move the heck on. So someone here may be like, I don't want to say in a dark space, but they may be going through, or you could even be going through this. If someone came in between your situation and you're thinking back to someone that you love and you're like, damn, I shouldn't have let this person come up in, in between us because, you know, obviously it, it looks like it's not working. Um, that could be the case too. So someone here may need some more time to kind of, you know, get over whatever it is that they're going through or whoever came in between the situation. Someone could be in the process of letting go of friends, family, whatever was interfering, making adjustments, okay? So what is the hidden truth? I love you unconditionally. Um, you came closer than anyone. So someone here loves you unconditionally or you love someone else unconditionally. But yeah. Um, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Okay, so somebody, either you blame someone else knowing damn well it was your fault or someone else blamed you knowing damn well it was their fault. Okay, this is the hidden truth, Oracle. All right, what else do you want to tell Pisces? What else? I feel you even though we are apart. So you can still feel this person's energy. They can still feel your energy. Uh, and we need to let each other go. That was the other thing I was picking up. Um, so someone here, again, vice versa, someone here could be telling someone else that, hey, we need to let each other go. One of you, I kind of was getting that up here a little bit. Um, one person may still love the other person unconditionally, still want something, want to work things out. And the other one may be like, no, nah, I'm moving on, you know. So take that as it resonates for y'all. You and I were too young, so there could have been some lessons here. It doesn't have to be like physically young. Uh, there could have been just some lessons here that still someone needed to learn. That's ultimately what karmic relationships are about, okay? We're all a karmic in this world, so it's not like, you know, some are better than others. Uh, some teach us about ourselves. Some teach us about, you know, I mean, they all teach us about ourselves, but... Um, yeah, there's different experiences we learn from karmic relationships, but it's all part of our journey and our growth and our path. So, um, somebody may have needed to experience something that you couldn't, um, experience with them so that they could learn something and apply it forward. You know, um, some people just don't learn their lessons. They stay in that karmic energy. So, yeah. I'm going to get off subject if I start talking about that. But anyways, let's move on. Let's see. What is Pisces overall energy with whomever is on their mind? What is Pisces overall energy with whomever is on Pisces mind? Single card. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. So flip it, switch it. All right. Let's see. What is Pisces overall energy, please? What is Pisces? The Emperor. What is the person on Pisces mind? Some of you guys could be this Emperor. You could be a boss, a father. You know, keep in mind Tarot has no gender. So this is just some type of a stru structured leader, okay? Whether you're Guiding children, guiding a business, guiding yourself. Just someone who's very structured and disciplined. Someone who, um, logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role, structure, and discipline. So that could be, if this is you, Pisces, you could be stepping into this leadership role. Like taking charge of a situation, you know? Stepping into that emperor energy. The emperor is someone who's loyal, you know, uh, commitment, divine masculine type of energy. Show me the person on Pisces' mind. Send me if you're feminine and watching. This could be you stepping into a more masculine energy. Uh, two of Swords in the reverse for your, whoever's on your mind. So Two of Swords in the reverse talks about taking off the blindfolds. Um, two of Swords in the upright would talk about you know, having some type of blinders on, not seeing the truth of a situation, ignoring the truth, refusing to see the truth, unable to make a choice or a decision because maybe you don't have all the facts. But in the reverse, I feel like your person is coming up out of this, whatever, this confusion or this un 
excuse me, unwillingness or unableness to make a choice or a decision. They're coming up out of this. They're taking off the blindfolds. They're starting to see the truth of a situation. Okay, show me Pisces emotions, please. Show me Pisces emotions. What is in Pisces emotions, please, Holy Spirit? Oh, nope. Not doing that. Hmm. So some of you guys could be, um, yeah, Pisces, whoever you are, you may be starting to get back out there, but you could be very conservative with your time, your energy, because I feel like you're making plans for the future. You're definitely using your intuition here with the moon card and this king of cups showing up. Three of wands focused on your positive movement forward, taking, you know, moving forward, exploring new opportunities, night of cups and four pentacles so you guys could be saving being conservative with who you give your time energy and emotions to uh focusing on self-love self-care strong masculine energy is showing up so it could be talking to a masculine pisces or just a feminine who is embodying a more masculine energy at this time okay let's see i don't know why i shuffled but it happened okay show me pisces emotions what is in Pisces emotions, please? Current energy. Keep in mind, we are all on different timelines. This may resonate with you, you know, a little bit differently. Let's see. Show me Pisces emotions. Queen of Wands. So, yeah, taking, taking charge, going after some type of creative endeavor. Some of you guys could also be being more disciplined with your health. And, you know, getting active, staying active, uh, focusing on your career, your talents, your abilities, um, strong energy here. Someone here may also have a small black pet or a pet in general or a cat. Um, but this is ultimately the emperor and the queen of wands. This is taking charge, honing in on your talents, your creativity, um, doing something, staying active, um, being more disciplined. You guys are very confident when it comes, this is in your emotion sector, so I feel like you guys are very confident or you're feeling very confident. Um, this is like a powerful energy. This is like, I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. It's like there's no doubt in your mind of what it is that you're trying to create or accomplish here. I like it. Go ahead, Pisces. So brilliant, talented, independent, controlling. There's nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate the ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance in career and personal life. So yeah, some of you guys are, the, you know, the Queen of Wands always gives me like that life force energy, your solar plexus. So your third chakra, right? And with this emperor being here, it's like some of you guys have like this fire, this determination, this willpower to accomplish what it is that you are true. Like you're very disciplined at this time. I like it, Pisces. Show me the person on Pisces' mind. What's going on with them emotionally? What is going on with them? Emotionally. I got drive, I got power, I stay hungry at the power. <laughs> okay, show me uh, the person on Pisces' mind, what's going on with them emotionally. Thank you. We've got the Knight of Swords. So Aquarius, the Gemini energy, they may have this in their moon sign, don't have to, but. All right, decisive, focused, driven, defensive, events that move with great speed, choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes, review your options carefully. So with this being in their emotions, this person could be coming towards you. Night is going towards this Pisces energy over here. So this person could be coming towards you with some type of a conversation. Um, this person could also just have some type of... This is movement. This is um, clarity, drive, determination. Uh it's the truth you know someone may want to come in with a conversation like yo 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 wait i see i get it i see something clearly i made a choice i made a decision all right i'm leaving i'm doing this i'm doing that it's like somebody here is <laughs> there's an urgency behind whoever's 
energy I'm picking up on here of like, I need to go in and say something. I need to, I need to take action. I need to, um, tell this person how I feel. I need to say what's on my mind. I need to speak my truth. I need to, you know, it's like, I, I'm no longer sitting in this two of swords energy. I'm no longer, um, a stalemate energy. I'm no longer indecisive. I'm no longer riding the fence. I'm no longer confused as to what, what, you know, what is what here? This is somebody who's like, I, I, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Show me Pisces next move. Show me Pisces next move. Okay. <laughs> Pisces, you about to you about to come into union with someone? What is, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, Pisces next moves the two of cups, falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on the people that you love, Pisces. And no, you coming together with someone, you guys are about to drink out of each other's cups. <laughs> okay. Yeah, someone's coming. But like, I don't. Know. <laughs> How's that song go? If you like it, then I should have put a ring on it. I don't listen to Beyonce, but that's what I just heard. If you like it, then I should have. I don't even know the words. Like, forgive me, Beyonce lovers and Beyonce. Okay. But if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Someone's like, I'm coming. <laughs> this person's like dipping off. Like, fuck you, friends. I'm leaving y'all at the campfire. I'm out. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> this is funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's kind of cute, though. All right. Show me this person's next move. <sighs> Tone it down. Tone it down. What is this person's next move? Holy Spirit. Single card. The Five of Pentacles. Oh, my. Yeah, this person could be abandoning... Ace of Cups on the bottom. This person could be abandoning some type of plans. Uh, I just did a reading. Um, it's like, what's the tea? We'll see what else comes out, but I don't want to bring that reading into this one. Um, and it's been a while since I did that reading. Like, I did that an, over an hour or so ago. Two hours ago. Um, Five of Pentacles. I don't know. This person... We did say someone was interfering, and like I was seeing with that energy I just showed you guys on the bottom of the deck, this person may be abandoning something. For some, this person could be broke or going through some type of financial hardship of their own. There is an angel here resting their hands on whoever's sitting here on this bench, feeling some type of way. Five of Pentacles doesn't always mean financial hardship. This could be health problems. This could be negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fears surrounding money, reach out to others for assistance and poor timing for becoming self-employed. So next move, five of pentacles. This person could just be feeling like they could be feeling abandoned by you. They may feel like you're moving on. They may see you over here being all confident and disciplined and structured and doing a damn thing that looking good <laughs> literally looking good sitting sitting on your throne standing in your power okay and this person's like shit that's my boo that's my soulmate now they feel they feel some type of way they want to rush in they see something clearly here they're no longer writing the fence. They're no longer indecisive. The two of swords can also talk about um, divided loyalties. So if there was any divided loyalties, whether it was family, friends, another lover, um, uh, work, this person's like, no, you know, I can't lose this. I or I, they feel some type of loss without you. Okay. Show me Pisces intentions. Especially if some of you started a new relationship here with this Two of Cups. Um, if, if any of you started a new connection with someone, this person's like, oh no, I lost. They, they feel empty. They feel lost without you. And it's like now, 
doesn't that suck? It's like, okay, now I'll make a decision. And I'm not saying that this is exactly how this person feels, but I'm reading energy and that's what these cards mean. So it's like someone's like, now, now they feel the loss of you and now they want to make a decision and rush in and communicate their truth. And it's like, but you didn't do it when you had the chance. Now I'm in another connection and I'm stable. I'm secure. I'm happy. I'm feeling good about it. And you want to come rushing towards me saying, you know, I love you. Our story isn't over yet. I need some time, but I want to work things out, you know, and you may be like, I, we need to let each other go. Someone could have blamed the other one for some shit here. And now they're like, okay, it's my fault. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Cause the Knight of Swords is speaking truth, you know? This could also be somebody coming towards you saying, hey, I've left another situation, okay? I don't have shit. I'm struggling financially. Um, I'm homeless. Five of Pentacles can talk about homelessness. It can um, even talk about health or whatnot. But this could be like this person coming in, the Knight of Swords, like coming in to tell you some type of truth. Like, hey, I ain't got shit, but I want you, okay? But you're going to have to give me some time to get my shit together. That could be another thing here, okay? Ain't got nothing if I ain't got you, baby. All right. Show me what Pisces' intentions are. What is Pisces' intentions? So I kind of see two different stories going on here. Pick what side is yours, if it is. Okay. Show me Pisces' intentions. Dun, dun, dun. Pisces intentions, please, sir. Single card. Nine of Pentacles and two of um, Rods. So some of you guys may... I'm just going to get one single card, but I am going to read it for you. Some of you guys may be choosing to stay single. Okay, that could be a thing here. Or some of you guys maybe faced with a decision because I feel like with this nine of pentacles, you may be in this energy of enjoying the fruits of your labors, doing something independently, singly, feeling good about it. But your next move is a two of cups. So your intentions, like some of you guys may have like, like your intentions was to stay single. And like I said, some of you guys may be getting in. I don't see like the unexpected card here. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Someone's coming in, yo. I don't know what else to tell you, but um, this is your intention. So some of your guys' intentions was to, you know, making plans for the future, partnering up with others who share your dreams, um, staying on your pathway, doing something. Some of you guys could be partnering up with someone or, you know, just going down a certain path. Like you already had this, this plan, this whatever to do something, go at something alone. But your next move is a two of cups. So it's like, I don't know, are you going to be like something that you didn't expect or something, change of plans? Um, show me Pisces intentions. What is Pisces intentions here? What is Pi the person on Pisces' mind? What is their intentions? So you're, you got the Knight of Cups came out anyway. So your intentions here, um, I don't know. You either planning on sweeping someone else off their feet or someone's going to sweep you off their feet. Or, you know, I mean, someone's going to get swept off their feet. So romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet. A sudden love affair, the lack of balance in a relationship, situations and topics that make your heart flutter. The love of art and poetry. So I don't know, someone may be coming in writing you a poem. You may be writing someone else a poem. Um, 
This could be an apology coming in. This could be an apology going out. I don't know. Um, someone expressing their emotions. Show me this person's intentions, because now I'm a little confused as to who's doing what. Maybe you two are going towards one another. Show me this person's intentions, please, Holy Spirit. The Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Lovers. So this person's intentions... <sighs> talks about nine of wands in this deck talks about protect what you have created be prepared never give up ask your angels for help environmental activism and animal rights so this person may be trying to persevere through something here some type of a struggle um they may feel like they have a lot of things coming at them or there's a lot of things that they're facing like a lot of opposition that they're facing to come towards you but I feel like they, they've already like made up their mind on what they want to do. Now this Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Lovers, it's like, I don't know if someone here is stressed out over another partnership. Um, there could have been some lies, some cheating, some sneaking off, some deceiving, deceitful type of energy. Um, or someone may be worried about, you know, coming towards you, sneaking off from whoever they're sneaking off from. And coming towards you to partner up. You see these two hands are here. This heart chakra is beaming. Okay. So someone may be strategically trying to come towards you. But they're stressed out or up in their mind. Worried about some type of thing. You got two nines here. Some type of an ending. Some some type of a sight. You know, I feel like this person. Whoever you're dealing with over here. I feel like they mentally. They've gotten some type of clarity. They know where their emotions stand they know what it is that they feel they want whatever but there's something here that this person is still like either trying to get away from or trying to figure out a way how to come towards you because i don't feel like their shit's together like this person has something i keep hearing weird noises y'all it might be because it's windy outside i don't know but i feel like this person's trying to like Especially if you're someone who's already kind of like getting back out there, you're dating, maybe you started a new relationship with someone here. Um, someone could be worried that because of your confidence, because of your discipline, because of your stature or whatever it is that you got going on in your life, someone's like, oh my gosh, this person's an emperor, queen of wands. Like they're very attractive. They're confident. They're a leader. They're a boss. They're all this and that and a bag of chips. And that's my boo. That's my soulmate. This person's going to be in a relationship. I've got to hurry up and like come towards this person. But however they do it, they got to be strategic because I feel like there's something here that's not quite, uh, they know. Am I making sense, guys? It's like they know that they love you. Okay, we got I love you and our story isn't over yet. It's like somebody knows that they want to come in, but there's something here that they need to like. I, I don't even want to say play it safe, but like. They need to strat. They need to like not be an idiot. Okay. But they feel like if they don't do something that they're going to lose you. All right. I think I made that clear. So let's see, what is going to be the outcome for the next 10 days between these two energies, please, Spirit? What is the outcome? What is the outcome? And keep in mind that this, you know, I'm picking up for a collective of you. So just because I read something here and the outcome does not mean exactly how this, if this sounds like your story, don't mean it's going to be day specific to the day the 10 day mark or this is exactly but this is going to be the energy surrounding the possible outcome of this situation like what you know may happen what may happen according to the energy transfer i don't know how to explain it um what may happen according to 
Well, you know, because all energy is subject to change, Pisces. You could totally, like, shift your energy. This person could shift theirs. Like, this person could come up with the perfect plan tomorrow and how they're going to rush in strategically and get over it. But the Nine of Swords also talks about, like, sitting in some type of fear, anxiety, worry. You know, so it's like, you know, this person could change their... That could shift at any moment. Yours could shift at any moment, which could change the outcome. So, you know, this is just as I'm reading it right now. What do you see the outcome being between these two? I hope I made myself clear. The star. Aquarius energy. So there, the star talks about healing. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams do come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. Uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Then you have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The King of Pentacles is uh, a reliable, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded energy. A time of great success, financial security, and prosperity. The Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully. A supportive parent and spouse and a good person to work for. Let's get the rest of the cards. Show me the outcome between these two. Show me the outcome between these two. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, grand universe. Show me the outcome. If you guys like this reading or it's giving you clarity, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want a personal reading. Information will always be in the description box below. All right, show me the outcome. Five of Wands. Show me the outcome, please. Yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like they feel like the wounded warrior. Like they feel like they've like they're faced with some type of adversity or struggle, but they also with the nine of wands talks about persistence to keep going. Uh, someone who's not ready to give up on something. Oh, I dropped those. I'm not taking that. Show me the outcome, please. I wish I could just pause you guys and finish this. Thank you. Show me the outcome. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius energy is out here. We also have Aries, but that's showing up in your energy. All right, Pisces. So the star talks about healing. Um, King of Pentacles, we already read. Five of Pentacles, or five of uh, Wands here in the middle of this outcome. I do see there's still some type of a conflict or and this could be internal conflict, conflict with others, um, conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from the drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself and very ambitious people. So, again, someone here like I was feeling over here, somebody here could be facing whoever this is, it's interfering with this situation ship. Here in the outcome, the next 10 days, there could possibly still be somebody who's either feeling conflicted about coming towards you and presenting you with this offer. Page of Pentacles is like the beginning stages. It's kind of like laying down a foundation, like, hey, this is what I, it's kind of like, um, you know, laying down some type of a plan, you know, for some type of stability or some type of growth, you know, um, Knight of Wands is, you know, that action oriented. It's like someone wants to rush in and take action to offer this to possibly move something forward. Uh, it is a little bit of an impulsive energy. Um, but again, there's still some type of conflict here within the next 10 days. I feel like, you know, on this side, King of Pentacles and Star, someone here is sitting in a very stable, secure, healed energy, very grounded energy. And no, I'm not choosing sides. The rules can be reversed. Pisces, this could be you. Who, 
excuse me, whoever's on this side, this Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and then there's this conflict in between it. You know, this could be this person trying to get their shit together. They may have strong earth. Er well, I don't see any water out here, so except on your side, Pisces. So this person may have air, earth, and fire heavily prominent in their chart. Um, but anyways, let's see. What is the star energy? The Knight of Wands, yes. Whoever this Knight of Wands energy is, they want to come rushing towards you to heal something. Um, they're feeling inspired. It's almost like that. They're feeling like that. <laughs> I heard rage. They're healing. They're, oh my gosh. They're feeling that, that fire, that passion, that desire to come in and just like take action, to say something, to send you a message. Um, but there's still something going on. Two fives, that, you know, out here. This is. Yeah, show me the King of Pentacles. Hierophant. Strong Taurus energy. You may have Taurus in your chart, Pisces. I do feel like someone here may want to rush in. Someone here may be wanting some type of commitment or put a title on something, or this is what you want. You want, you want marriage. You want commitment. You're someone who's like, you know, I want to be in something that's stable, committed, grounded, a partnership between two people. Show me this five of wands. I feel like someone's really drawn towards you. But be careful someone's not trying to come in to heal something. Now, this isn't for all of you. Someone, be aware that someone's not coming in to help them heal whatever shit that they're going through. They need to heal their own shit on their own before coming to you. Now, I'm not saying no, they can't talk to you and block this person and kick them to the curb until they get their shit together. But if this person wants to say something, but with this Knight of Wands... There could be like this passion and with the star, it's like some somebody here could be coming into like for that sexual healing. Okay, I'm just gonna say, all right, make sure someone's not trying to come in and like, how do you call that? Like, um, get an energy boost, get an energy fix. Be, you know, this would be like that energy harvest and shit. Like if you're in this emperor, some type of status, confident, because you know, looking very attractive. This person is still they got a lot of night energy you know so this person may come rushing in there could be an age difference here i think i had that card too you and i were too young it doesn't necessarily have to be that you guys are too young it's just there's there was lessons here but anyways you may have learned your lessons you may have grown up here with this king of pentacles hair font energy and someone may be rushing towards you maybe wanting some type of like healing fix or wanting to like I hate to even say it like that, but harvest off your energy. I got to say it if I see it. So there it is. Um, yeah. Show me the five of wands. The high priestess. So this could be either you feeling conflicted on whether or not to, you know, engage with this person or this person there there could be conflict or drama because there's some type of secrets here or because of a side piece or a mistress or you could have been this or tell me more about this five of wands high priestess or this is you trying to use your intuition and you may feel conflicted or um wow you got the devil dude did i not say that High Priestess and the Devil. That's a buzzkill. Um, I'm like looking at the card that says take a shot. Okay, maybe two. 
let them go. So you may need to let this person go for now. I don't know. Uh, Capricorn, Pisces energy. Could be down with another one or I don't know if this is you. This is right in the center. The conflict here is that someone here may have some type of secret addictions, toxicities. There could be obsession. Someone could be obsessed with you. You could be obsessed with someone. This can also break down to conflict magic. And I don't like talking about it, but let's just call a squirrel a squirrel. All right. Um, Someone could also be trying to hide the fact that there's drama, hide the fact that they're bound to another situation still, or that there's some type of a codependency here. I'm not telling you all to wait for no one at all, but uh, yeah, I would never tell you that, but. You've learned some type of lessons, and I feel like you want something that's structured. You want commitment. You want loyalty. Um, you're very business-oriented, focused on, you know. This is also having faith. The star in this hair font is like having faith. Show me this page of pentacles. Whoever you are, I feel like you've grown into someone who is very, you know, disciplined. This is like an energy that has changed. And it's like, I feel like you kind of still hold out faith that something can move forward. But this person keeps approaching you in this night, or I don't know if they keep doing it, but the Knight of Wands is typically, you know, in and out, or they come in, but they don't stay because there's something else here that someone's attached to. And I don't feel like they're being honest about it, but that's where the conflict is coming from. I do feel like this person wants to come towards you and speak their truth and they're clear with how they feel like they know how they feel they don't they this is like somebody who's made a decision in their mind but there's some type of like struggle or adversity that they're faced with so i don't know if this person lives with someone else maybe this person's codependent on someone else someone here secretly lives with i don't know someone here has some type of like attachment that I feel like they're trying to figure out, yeah, I need more time. Someone here needs more time to like, that's why when they come towards you, they only come with this page offer. You know, they're not coming in as like a king or a knight and you're sitting in this emperor, king, queen energy. Show me this page of pentacles. Strength card, Leo energy. Show me the Knight of Wands. Ooh, Ace of Wands. Or Ace of, uh, what did I just say? Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Five of, five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone has some regrets, but I feel like, I don't, <laughs> I don't feel like you're taking anybody's bullet. Like, you're in this very kind of like, Discipline, like someone knows that they need to come towards you with the truth here. And I do feel like someone wants your forgiveness. Someone has regrets, but there's also like some type of conflict here. Maybe this has to do, I don't know if this has to do with the past. Because to me, it still looks like it's still prevalent in the reading. Anyway, strength card. Someone here maybe. um trying to find the courage and the strength to come in and offer you something. This could be a proposal. 
Someone could do something on a whim or do something spontaneously. Someone here could also be holding back some type of an opportunity because they want to rush in with some type of a grand gesture. Or maybe they're holding, what are they, what is a strength card? This person could be very focused on their work, trying to build up their finances at this time. You have the eight of pentacles here, nine of pentacles. Yeah, it's like someone may be working on their, tra <laughs> on their transformation, okay? This person could have gone through some type of secret legalities here. Or they could have gotten caught up for some type of secrets here within the justice system. I got the Eight of Swords, High Priestess, Justice, Transformation. Something here could be ending. There could be a court case coming to an end. Something here could be changing, shifting. Um, but I don't feel like... And again, I'm seeing somebody taking off the blindfold. Anyways, Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Someone here is trying to focus, trying to build up their independence or their finances in some way before coming to you but i also feel like this person is like what is this devil the three of wands so this could be something going on at a distance show me the strength card the five of wands someone's holding back so if someone here is holding back from you pisces this is because there's some type of conflict going on behind the scenes or at a distance. And I feel like this person's like trying to, uh, whoever this, it's like they're trying to build themselves up or they're trying to like fix a situation without you knowing. This part, that could be even too, if this person's in and out, like this person may be in and out. I don't know. I wouldn't let them come in and out. Knight of Wands, Star Card, this like someone trying to come in and get what they want I hate to say it but you should hold back from this person Either someone's like obsessed with moving something forward or there's something going on that someone's bound to at a distance. Someone could have someone else at a distance, side piece or a mistress or whatever you want to call this. There could be some type of conflict going on because of some type of secrets due to some type of toxic behaviors, something at a distance. And that's why someone's holding back because of this conflict. But I feel like someone's trying to, like I said before, someone's trying to like, like if this person is, in the next 10 days, this person may try to rush, like try to come into your energy for whatever reason, the star card to some type of wish fulfillment, but it's like, it's not, I don't know. I see you putting your hand up to this Knight of Wands type of energy. I feel like you've learned some type of lesson when dealing with this person. And I feel like you're in a very grounded energy that, um, if this person does it, I don't know. For one, I feel like you're going to stop them. For two, I feel like if they try that, that's going to like be the icing on the cake to like disconnect from this person. Because I feel like this person still has a whole nother, like, whatever it is that they're going through, they're trying to get through it. I don't know what the problem is, Pisces. I don't know why, what the situation is, but it's still going on. And that's your reading. That's for the next 10 days. I'm going to leave it right there, though. Let's get three uh, romance angels. Holy Spirit, what else do you want to tell Pisces when it comes to this person on the mind? we got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask. It did come out in the reverse. 
Um, tell me more. In past life relationship, you have known each other before very soon. So this person may want to come in and I do feel like this person like wants to come towards you and like speak some type of truth. I don't know if they're going to give you like, I don't know all the details. That's all I'm going to say because all of you guys is different and I'm going to get frustrated because I know like, I know what I see here, but I don't want to like, you know. I almost feel like someone's trying to like clean up some type of a mess, but they also want to rush in and try to like, because the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands is like some type of like quick impulsive energy. It's almost like they want to come in and like to keep you from moving on or something with the intention of coming back and presenting something stable. But right now it's like they can't stay because they're still in some shit that they're trying to fix and not quite tell you the whole truth, but they want to tell you the truth about how they feel and that they want to like progress something, but they don't want to like completely come forth with like whatever's going on here. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope it helped. I hope it gave you clarity. If it did, Jesus, uh, 51 minute reading. Oh my gosh. Um, I love you guys so much. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.